Okay, welcome back to the next class on force system resultants. Yesterday we have discussed about in the previous class we have been discussing about the first force system result. We have talked about the torque, uh, about the moment, and the way of calculating the torque and the moment. Let's solve a few more questions before proceeding to the chapter. Let's solve a few more questions uh, and then proceed to the next topic. Okay, so. Uh, Let's suppose that, uh, let, let me solve this question for you. This question, let's solve. That it says, determine the moment of force about point O. So this is the point O. We have to determine the moment of this force of 500 Newton about this point O. So as far as uh, this uh, force is concerned, as far as this force is concerned, this force is 500 Newton. And this point O, this is point O. We have an axis passing through point O. We have to find the moment of this force about point O. So in order to do that, let's use the same procedure as we have been doing. In order, the force is acting at this very point. Let's draw the, uh, let's draw the position vector from this point to the point where the force is uh, being applied. Because we know uh, the moment or the magnitude of, uh, of the torque is equal to R cross F. R is the position vector from the point where you have to find the moment. We have to find the moment about point O. So we have to draw the radius vector from point O to the point where the force is being applied. So we'll draw from O to this point. So our position vector will be like this. Okay. So this is our position vector. And uh, we'll be calling, this is point O. Let's call this point as point A. This is point A. And let's call this point as point B. So this vector is the vector r this is the position vector r drawn from point o towards point b so we'll write this as position vector r o b so this is position vector r o b okay it's like this now we know as far as the moment is concerned the moment of this force uh, about point o is concerned that moment will be equal moment is equal or the torque is equal r cross f that's equal to r cross f okay so as far as the as far as the r is concerned for us the position vector is r o b vector okay so it is r o b cross f which is equal to if you look at this r o b this r o b can be written as see we can also draw one more vector from o to a like this we can draw a vector like this. This is one vector. And we can also draw a vector from A to B like this. This is one more vector. Or more cleanly, we rub these two. More cleanly, we can draw the vectors from O to A. And we can draw the vector from A to B. Okay. So now, as far as the vector ROB is concerned, we can say this vector drawn from O to point A, we can call this vector as ROA. ROA vector. And the vector drawn from A to B, we can call this vector as position vector drawn from A uh, to B. We'll write this as RAB. Okay. So this is position vector RAB. Now we have in this triangle, we have ROA as one vector. RAB as another vector. These two vectors are taken in the same order. Okay. And as far as this vector is concerned, ROB vector has been taken in the opposite order. So we can use what you call as the triangle law of vectors. We can use the triangle law of vectors, which we know from our lower classes. We can use the triangle law of vectors. The triangle law of vector says that vector ROB is equal to vector ROA plus vector RAB. Therefore, using, using we can write here using using triangle law of vectors using triangle law of vectors using triangle law of vectors we can write this vector rob vector rob is equal to vector rob is equal to vector roa as far as vector ro is concerned vector roa has the magnitude equal to the radius of this arc as far as the radius of this arc is concerned that's equal to 3 meter so we will write vector first we'll write rob vector is equal 
आर ओ ए वैक्टर आर ओ ए वैक्टर प्लस आर ए बी वैक्टर प्लस आर ए बी वैक्टर विल राइट इट लाइक दिस प्लस आर ए बी वैक्टर नाउ दैट्स इक्वल टू सिलेक्ट यूर कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम और कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम इज लेट से वी ट्रीट दिस टू बी आवर एक्स एक्सिस एंड वी ट्रीट दिस टू बी आवर y axis okay so we will write this as this is our y axis and we treat this to be our x axis so if you look at this roa this roa is along x axis okay so its magnitude is equal to the radius of this arc that is 3 meter so it will be rob will be 3 i cap plus as far as this rab is concerned this rab is concerned this rab is having two components one component will be along x axis one component of this rab will be along x axis like this and we'll be calling that component will be rab cos theta see the distance from here to here is also the distance from here to here is also equal to the radius of this arc that's equal to 3 meter this distance is also equal to 3 meter this also the radius okay so its component along this axis will be 3 cos of 45 Three cos of forty-five along x-axis. So we'll write this as three cos of forty-five i cap, and its component along, and its component along the along the y-axis will be this component, and the component along y-axis will be this component. This component will be the component along the y-axis, and we can call we can say that as far as this component is concerned. this component will be 3 sin of 3 sin of 45 degree along j cap so this rab we can write as this rab is having two components is having 3 cos 45 i cap that is 3 cos 45 means 3 by under root 2 i cap plus and its component along y axis is 3 sin 45 that is 3 by Under root two, three by under root two j cap. Okay, therefore, therefore it becomes. Therefore, as far as vector R O B is concerned, the vector R O B becomes three plus three by under root two, three plus three by under root two i cap, three plus three by under root two i cap, plus three by under root two j cap. Okay. so this is our this is our vector this is our vector rob now as far as the force f is concerned how can we write this force f the force f can be written as force f is having magnitude of 500 newton okay the magnitude of force is 500 newton so we can write this force of 500 newton as this is 500 newton and it is acting at an angle of its line of action is making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal so this 500 newton will have two components its component along x axis will be 500 cos 45 so we'll write this as 500 cos 45 500 cos 45 i cap plus and its component along y axis will be 500 sin 45 j cap so we'll write this as 500 sin of 45 j cap okay therefore this becomes therefore this will become for us therefore force component becomes 500 cos 45 is uh, uh, 1 by under root 2 so this is 500 under root 2 i cap plus 500 divided by under root 2 500 by under root 2 j cap okay so these are the components so these are the components of force therefore we can now directly write the formula therefore as far as torque or moment is concerned it will be equal can be written as r cross f which can be written as this r cross f can be written as r cross f can be written as we will write a determinant we will write i cap j cap and k cap okay so these are three caps then first we have to write the components of r the components of r are 3 plus 3 by under root 2 so it is 3 or it is 
plus or let me draw it a bit broader let me solve it here as far as the talk is concerned solve it here the talk becomes at the moment will have will be equal to i cap j cap k cap then we'll write the components of then we'll write the components of i the components of i are 3 plus 3 by under root 2 so we'll write here 3 plus 3 by under root 2 this is the first component of r the second component of r along y axis is 3 by under root 2 so we'll write here 3 by under root 2 and it does not have a component along z axis so it is zero and as far as f is concerned the components of f are 500 by under root 2 so its component will be 500 by under root 2 along x axis and its component along y axis is again 500 by under root 2 so it is 500 by under root 2 and it does not have a component along z axis so it is zero so this determinant represents the moment about point o and you can solve this yourself easily to obtain the magnitude and direction of this moment so this is how you have to solve all these questions